Hi Aquarius, welcome to your June new moon in Cancer Love Tower reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome and thank you. So I'm going to see whatever needs to come out here for this reading. So I'm going to take it as it comes. So Aquarius, you think of uh, Cancer is about the uh, crab as well. So it could be a time of going within because the crab can retreat into its shell. And figuring out what is for our highest good, what is for our best interests and well-being, and then making that happen. As you think of the chariot as positive movement forward, success, victory. And also, Cancer does represent the house of family, relationships, and um, home. So let's see. And new moon, you know, new beginnings, the new intentions as well. So let's see what we need to know here for you, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female, general collective reading. Only take what resonates for you, including the signs mentioned. You definitely can flip it, switch it when you need to, so just follow your intuition on that. And uh, cross watchers as well could be reading messages for you. Four of Cups, Opportunity Beckons, and then we have the Two of Cups. Oh my God, look at that. And that could be the Six of Cups, could be about someone returning. So there could have been a little, you know, four cups can be a little illusion, you know, disillusion, discontentment. Uh, you know, there is an opportunity. Is it missed? Is it unrequited? Is it still there? And then we have two of cups, soulmates coming together. And four and two, six of cups can be about someone returning from your past, maybe. Um, four is a stable number. Two, partnerships, unities, choices, decisions. Wow, so four and the two of cups. Interesting. All right, Aquarius, let's see. <clears throat> what else do I need to know for you? Everything you need to know is down below in the description box, so you can check that out if you'd like to. Your playlists are down there. You can still check out your June readings. Uh, July has started to go out monthly in love. After this, I'll be doing money and career. And down below, especially if you're new, you can find all the content I do, times, days, everything. Eight readings a month, two a week. Keep an eye out on the community tab there. I'll post updates if I need to make changes in the coming months with my full-time job and overtime. So that's where you'll find updates. All right, Aquarius. What else do we need to know? Rebirth. So in autumn. Hmm. So I'm feeling like, um, now autumn is quite a ways away. But I'm feeling like here maybe something happened over the uh, winter months. Maybe there was like a time out or something frozen in time. It kind of like a shedding of energy. It could have been autumn into uh, winter. <laughs> and, you know, maybe now because cups is summer, you know, maybe things have a chance to turn around the summertime. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see what else we need to know. Everything, um, I was just going to say that, but <laughs> everything you need to know. Just went through that whole spiel. But down below, I have a Twin Flame channel. You can find the link if you'd like to check it out. Over there, I'll be focusing more on collectives. I just don't have time with two channels to do Zodiacs on both and a full-time job. So focusing more on collective Twin Flame readings. So if you want to check that out, link is below. All right, Aquarius, let's see what else we need to know for you. For... Okay, so these two. So we have here <clears throat> the Ringmaster of Scrutiny, Discernment, Clear Vision, and Details. We have nine, which could be a single energy, also almost full circle, completion, new beginning, nine, ten, one, a new beginning. And we have the Queen of the Lights, Illumination, Enlightenment, and Celebration, 15, six, very healing, balanced energy. So we do have... Um, summer, winter, fall. So this light, you know, everything starts, you know, the late days get longer in the springtime. So this definitely could be this springtime energy here. So it could have been over this past spring and now we're just coming into summer. There's been a lot of uh, clear vision, discernment, and light kind of like manifesting in this connection. I kind of see that guy as being the magician now there's new light shedding on this connection as well. Illumination, enlightenment, celebration. And I did say four and two is six, and we have six here. Right, healing, balanced energy. Hmm. 
So things will be eliminated here. Wow, okay, so let's see. Somebody could have been a little over discerning in the past. Uh, maybe that's why maybe there might have been a little <sighs> disconnect or separation or a little cold energy in the winter time, maybe fall into winter. All right. I feel like things probably started taking a turn this spring in some way. Maybe there's been, you know, reconnecting talking, whatever that means. And now, by summertime here, it could be, maybe by the end of June, you may see something happening here. All right. Let's see, because we do have three sixes. So four and two is six. We have six here. Actually, two sixes, rather. All right. Aquarius, let's see. Knight of Cups. So coming in, romancing, dating, forward movement in love, Scorpio energy. Hmm. Page of Swords, clear-cut communication needs to be had. That is my Aquarius card. Tower makes the big uh, change and shift happen. And Six of Cups. There's that Six of Cups right there. Wow, I had talked about. So Spirit showing up here. Four and two, Six of Cups, Six of Cups. Wow, so someone returning here. The shift is happening. The conversations, the talk is going to happen. And I'm feeling almost like a let's try again kind of energy. Six of Pentacles, a lot of sixes here. So it could be something about the end of June. If not, maybe six weeks, maybe even six days for some. Page of Pentacles, solid communication here about the real things that need to be uh, talked about. Capricorn energy. Five of Cups, about the disappointment, the disillusion, of why things happened the way they did at the time they did, but change is coming. Pfizer about change. Eight of Pentacles, putting in the work. A lot of Pentacle energy here, which is good. That's what you want. It's that strong, stable, grounded energy of the Pentacles. Eight of Cups. Definitely was a walking away here. Could have went as far back as last August. And the Queen of Wands, Aries energy. Getting the fire and magic back in this connection, I kind of feel here. Interesting. So we have Aries, Capricorn, Aries, <laughs> Aquarius up there, Scorpio. I definitely feel like there's a working, walking away here, but there's no denying the strong magnetic pull towards each other with this Queen of Wands. King or Queen doesn't matter. Definitely the return, the change, the conversation, the talk about the real tangible things in the disappointment helps to restore balance here and how we can move forward with the love or the emotions, the feelings here. Two six, well, that's the real six of cups, but over here, definitely you can take that as the six of cups. All right, so let's see what else we need to know here. You know, maybe an opportunity to meet up for a drink or a coffee really talk here. Two of Pentacles, you know, weighing out the pros and cons, everything that made the connection out of whack, you know, imbalanced. Four of Swords, healing. How can we heal? Four of Wands. Two Fours, bringing in the stability. Four of Wands here. It could be maybe even talk about moving in, marriage commitment. I'm not really feel, feeling that, but how we can maybe even start over after healing. Because this could be courting, dating, getting to know again with the Four of Wands. Strength. So a very strong connection here that cannot be denied. But it's about willpower, determination, past lives. This can be overcome. Strength can overcome anything. Five of Pentacles. Even, you know, all the lack that we're, we were feeling in the past regarding the connection that led. Maybe, I heard demise, whatever that means. Or the stagnation or the breakup or whatever this was. Now, if you're saying, I don't want no part, then it's not your reading. I really have to stress that. People still leave comments. Then obviously it's not your reading. All right. Seven of Swords. Hmm. All right, let's see. 
Six of Swords. Wheel of Fortune. So this definitely can get better. So if there's been any energy of the past where we felt maybe someone was being sneaky, but maybe they weren't, or, you know, they were running out of fear or avoidance here. There's definitely an energy of moving two cards and moving forward here with the Six of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. Things can get better. Move in the right direction. Leaving all the swords behind us that we don't need to take with us. All those mental things, healing, moving forward into peace, harmony, balance, and better days coming here with the Wheel of Fortune. Fate, destiny, divine timing, things getting better, moving in the right direction. So we have Sag, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio. This can move forward in a positive way if we choose to. All right, what else here? The Page of Cups could be an apology, a sincere gesture, offer, peacemaking energy, Pisces, Two of Swords. So a decision will be made here. In reverse, a decision will be made. So let's see what the decision is. So we have the King of Cups and the High Priestess. Two very intuitive energies. Usually the Queen is more intuitive, but sometimes the King can kind of hide how they feel. Um, so we have actually two cards of Pisces. Yeah, Three Pentacles building. So there really has to be honesty here about coming out of no communication and not hiding feelings and we only can build together if everything is out in the open and discussed. Nothing kept hidden if we want to build together. Hangman. Pause reflection. Nine of Pentacles. Somebody may say, you know what? <sighs> if I still feel like the stuck energy from you, I may just decide to stay single. That's what I have here with the Nine of Pentacles and the Hangman. So we got Pisces showing up. But we have the Hierophant. So somebody may offer a deeper connection here, whatever that means for you. Whether it's being exclusive, being saying, okay, we're a couple, marriage, commitment, moving in, whatever. This is definitely a big, big level up here with the Taurus energy in every way you can think of. Morals, traditions, values, standards, faith, hope, religion, spirituality growth and expansion. So we have Taurus energy here, an exciting new beginning here with the Ace of Wands. So here's that moon energy, Ace of Swords. So there'll be clearing of the here of any fear, illusion, secrets, or things that weren't revealed before. Ace of Swords is here to clear the air for the successful new beginning. And then things move forward. There's a chariot. Wow. So we have the new moon in Cancer. Things can move forward here in a positive way. Clearing of the air, having that conversation of any uncertainty, fear, doubt, worry, stress, anxiety, illusion, cutting through that and moving forward. Wow. Definitely a big shift here with the world. New cycle starting. Leo, Chris, Taurus, Scorpio, and the star. Massive healing, divinely guided energy, things meant to be. Aquarius energy. Again, that Ace of Wands. Ace of, wish dream come true with the Nine of Cups. Ace of Wands, exciting new beginning, success, victory, sun is the best positive you, energy you can have. Leo, and there's that summer energy. Growth, expansion, love, peace, harmony, joy, happy home and family, happening quickly, Knight of Swords, Aquarius energy, that's you. And needing to make a decision, you may have to make a quick decision, I don't know, maybe. Healing, forgiving, release, resurrection, life review, relationship review, maybe setting healthy boundaries. But the fool taking a leap of faith there you are aquarius and could leap right into commitment here with uh queen of pentacles capricorn energy you may not even know that that down the road here <laughs> three of wands as i say that down the road you know soulmate energy here with the temperance that this definitely could lead to a deeper commitment so i definitely feel like this person's returning it definitely a chance to clear the air move forward in a positive way and making sure they are really, really sincere this time. And down the road here, I mean, we did see the Three of Wands down the road, and then we saw the Queen of Pentacles, which can be someone who is married, committed, um, in that stable ground relationship that you always desired. Interesting. So it's going to be up to you if this is what you want, if this person comes back. Maybe you've been hoping and praying for this with the star, and here it comes back quickly here chariot energy 
we have seven here. It could be something about July or Cancer season into July into maybe Leo season. So we did see strength there, which is Leo energy. All right, so let's get you some advice and guidance for Aquarius. Prioritize. Focus on your highest priorities. I will help you get organized and motivated. Prosperity. Your material needs are provided as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into reality. So a lot of growth and abundance to come. And it's about, you know, making each other priority. If they're willing to do it and you're willing to do it, prosperity can come in here. And a spiritual understanding. I am bringing you historic information and symbols and helping you understand spiritual truths. So, wow. This connection could also all of a sudden take a spiritual turn as well. Or there could have been a lot of spiritual growth and lessons involved with this connection. And it could have been over maybe even a year's time. Creative writing. Make time to write down your thoughts in a journal or pen an article or book. It could be writing letters to each other. Or maybe someone's done a lot of journaling about this whole growth and experience as well. And it says here, all is well. So definitely up to you, Aquarius, but that's what I have for you. So I hope that helped. It resonated. Again, thank you so much for being here. It's truly, truly appreciated. Everything you need to know is down below. You can still check out your June readings, July, and also the Twin Flame channel if you would like to. So wishing you the best, Aquarius, and I shall see you next time.